Hey guys, Everyday Knife Guy here. Today I want to take a look at a blade with you that's a bit of a modern day classic. If you're into knives at all, you'll probably recognize the profile of this. It's uh, just one of those blades that's kind of defined a company for a little while. And a pretty famous collaboration. This is of course the Kershaw Leak. Famous collaboration between Kershaw Knives and Ken Onion. And uh, part of his series, he did the Chive Scallion. The leak was the largest, I think, of the of that series. And it's a knife that's been on my to-do list for forever. And finally, just one came along at the right time, the right price. And uh, I like this particular version. There's literally hundreds of versions and combinations of the the handle, clips, uh, blades on these. I like this matte black one, although it is a bit of a fingerprint magnet. This is uh, the 1660, which I think is the identifier for the whole model leak. 1660 H3. You can see it's got a black coated blade, uh, kind of black oxidized style pocket clip. Let me just grab a cloth here and try and keep this as clean as we can as we go for best looks. And uh, it has the billboard style uh, Kershaw logo on this side, which is something that I'd say I wasn't generally drawn to, this kind of like in your face advertising for the actual brand. but on this I think it looks pretty cool. I like the font they've used and the overall the uh, white outline on there. I think that stands out quite nicely without being too garish. And uh, yeah, other than that it's a pretty standard leak. This has the Sanvic 14C20N stainless blade. They have done a couple of different uh, steels over the years of producing these. This one is discontinued now. And uh, yeah, it is a liner lock of course. Blade centering is pretty good on this one. See there, very fine point in the leak, which is uh, I mean, one of its downfalls really. It's a lovely little EDC knife, it's super slim in profile, uh, lovely Warrencliffe blade shape, speed safe assist as you can see there, so it really flies out. It's a great little pocket tool knife for, uh, you know, pottering around the house or out and about, just simple EDC tasks. As I say, that fine point is uh, a little bit delicate, so you've got to be a little bit careful what you do with it. Um, the Savic steel does take a great edge, super sharp, as you can see there, lovely slicing blade. And, uh, yeah, it's just a really nice little uh, ergonomic knife without taking up too much pocket real estate. Uh, the flat sided handle scale is really not an issue because it's got a lovely profile and spine on it. Your hand just kind of folds around it. And uh, yeah, a really nice little using blade. Only weighs about three ounces, so it's not a it's not a heavy knife to be toting around. You can see there's spring and speed safe. Closes up nicely. A little flipper on the back here, a little bit of jimping on the top edge of it, so we can get the light to catch that. A little bit of jimping on there. The only complaint I have with that is it could do with sticking up just slightly higher. I, mean, I know they're trying to keep a sleek profile on this, but if that was slightly taller, I think. A little bit easier to grab a hold of, but really doesn't take a lot of effort to fire it out. I mean, you can just catch that with your fingernail, and that's all it takes. So, uh, really not a lot for firing out what is a three-inch blade, uh, four-inch handle, seven-inch overall. So, uh, yeah, that's the flipper. You have two thumb studs here. Uh, they're quite small and quite well hidden by the handle scales, actually, but you can generally get a hold of them. Again, it doesn't take a lot of force to get that speed safe to kick in and really fly the blade out. Um, and uh, yeah, so the flipper would be my preferred deployment. Pull that back up. There is a little safety lock on this side. You can see at the back here. Uh, let's see if that will focus. No, apparently it won't. Oh, there we go. And uh, yeah, it's just a super simple little manual mechanism. All you're doing is basically just moving this little bar over there so you can see it's literally just holding the tip of the knife into the handle so when you fire it it's just pushing against that and can't go anywhere so super simple mechanism but effective keeps it locked in there's no safety of course when it's opened due to the fact that that's the type they've used but uh, you know it's not something I use anyway backspacer here you can see and then we have one uh, well it's not really a standoff it is just that part of the safety mechanism at the back Pocket clip on this side is currently set for tip up, right hand carry. It's uh, only two position reversible, um, so you have tip up, tip down, right hand carry, but no left hand carry options. So if you're a lefty, it's a little bit of an issue, but you know, it's not a big or clumsy knife to flip over, I guess, if it is in your left pocket. So 
uh, there is that. Um, what else? On this particular version, the colouring, I, I wish they'd use black screws in here and for the pivot and black thumb studs just to, to tone it down a little bit more, but um, they decided to go with the bright hardware, which you know, it does give a little bit of contrast, I guess, so it's not a big deal. The pocket clip itself isn't very deep carry. You can see there you're left with quite a bit of the knife handle uh, sticking out your pocket, so whether or not that's a consideration for you is, uh, you know, it's just something to bear in mind, really. It's not a, not a huge deal. It's not a super uh, obvious knife to be sticking out your pocket, so not a, not a huge deal. Um, it's American-made, this one, so that's a pretty pretty good feature for the fact that this knife only costs, uh, well, you can pick them up anywhere between 20 to 40 60 it really depends what model and type you go for. Um, I found it hard to find one of these for sale. I could find some Blem models of this on eBay. Currently about 30 US for the H3. Um, but you get all sorts of styles and types. You get the rainbow anodized, um, handle scales in all different colors, blade styles. Well, not blade styles, but blade steels rather. Um, and uh, finishes. So there's a leak there for everyone, I think. Um, I actually saw a part of an article on uh, one of the forums and read a little bit of that and they said there were I think it was 18,000 combinations of different types of pocket clips handle colors, blade colors, blade steels types of hardware and so on so you know there's really all sorts of leaks out there and uh, yeah it's, I'd highly recommend it for a small EDC knife so go find yourself the one that suits you I think that's all there is to say really guys there's been a million reviews on this I just wanted to show you the one that I picked up it's a great little knife, and uh, yeah, so I wanted to share with you. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.